This isn't voice though. Weird. Whatever. Sayaka! All at once, I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, the urge to burst into tears. But I can't. I can't hesitate now. Why? Why did Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse. But that thought held me up and supported me. I like how the knife isn't even that deep into her chest. Which isn't even her chest. It's her yeah, abdomen. I think, I think she died from blood loss. Instead of the trauma. I'll have to assume as much. Explain this toilet to me, Pink. I will do no such thing. Alright. I, I guess there's nothing to examine aside from her. I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but... But now is no... Now... Blah, but now is no time to think like that. I pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it said about her body. Some sort of sharp object has been thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. Some sort of... <laughs> Some sort of sharp object. I have never been in a kitchen. <laughs> I don't know how to cook. Not, not only has Makoro not been in a kitchen, Makoro has never eaten with, 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 with like utensils. Yeah. <laughs> Except for maybe like chopsticks. The concept of a spoon is foreign to him. Yes. It's like, you know, knives. No, like knives. Knives aren't that, that uncommon in Japan. Like now, you, you still need to fucking cut up, cut up your food in, in Japan, usually. Yeah. yeah. And they, they haven't even invented food that comes pre-cut yet. Yeah. But, you know, for that. And like spoons. Spoons are very widely used since they, they also use them for, for like soup and shit. They just also, they, they just also eat out the, the, the pasta that's in it first. The noodles. Whatever, yeah. same difference. Yeah. But yeah, like <laughs> Makoto should should be aware of what a fucking knife is. I think. One I don't know. Would think. But whatever, they <laughs> fuck. I can take it with this, with this guy. He's so fucking dumb. <laughs> but whatever, they used to kill her. Where did they get it? There's definitely something I should look into, or that is definitely something I should look into later. Also, according to the Monokuma file, Sayaka's right wrist is broken. Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. There's also fists on it. Oh, that? Yeah. But there's something sort of glittery on, on, there on, their, on her wrist too. Right there, where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery. That's definitely, that definitely concerns me. Other thing that concerns me is... Huh? There's some blood on her left index finger, but that's it. The palms of both her hands are totally spotless, so how come only her left finger? Oh shit, Pink, I think I figured out who the killer is. <laughs> was it King Kong Bundy? Yes. No, it was, it, it was, uh, I forget his name, the guy who killed Bruiser Bodhi. Oh, <laughs> uh, Is it... It's Carlitos, like... I don't remember what the, the relation is. Might even be it's, it's one of the colognes, yes, but yeah, Carlos Cologne? Maybe. If it's if it's his mo, <laughs> people stand in bedrooms. Yeah. Uh, boy, I sure hope I never have to go to go to fucking Mexico or Puerto Rico just just in case in either of those places. In, ca in case he's also there. Yeah, I definitely don't go into the bathrooms out there. Yeah. Sayaka's wrist has been added to the truthfulness section of your handbook. The stab wound on her stomach is what killed her, so when she broke her wrist... That must have happened... That must have happened earlier earlier on, or whatever. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? So it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Sayaka in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted the deadly wound. Okay, pink. Yeah. I don't know if you can see. This is the only the only solution that I, that has been spoiled to me. So this, is, this is the one we'll get to best. Sayaka wrote the name of her killer. Thirty-seven. Uh, that's uh, upside down. But yes, le. Someone le. Le. -E. I looked at Sayaka to the Lee. wall behind her, and, and there I saw. 
Leon. Leon? We have to kill Leon Kennedy. From Resident Evil? Yes. Oh no. Turns out his residence was evil this entire time. This was just a regular job for him. So the government sent him. Yeah, that's fair. What? Where's the name blood where the numbers? 11, 11 or 37. The numbers. The numbers don't lie. And they, and they spell Leon. Yes. And sacrifice. True, she was she was sacrificed, yes. <laughs> Did Sayaka do this? But yeah, this this is the one thing that I, I, I've had spoiled for me because it, I I will always heard about Dangarompa, how the first uh, first killer is just solved like this, <laughs> and this is this is the only like thing that I, that that I that I have been spoiled. Uh, like basically, this first case has been spoiled for me, but I don't know anything past that. <laughs> Aha. And like even this, I don't, I didn't know the uh, the the minutia. It was just oh, you know, the the, the victim writes the killer's name upside down. Aha. It looks like you found it, right, Makoto? The bloody numbers. That most like that's most likely Sayaka's <laughs> dying message. <laughs> she she's Jerry Lynn. Secretly. <laughs> I've never seen something written in blood before. It was only her final message. A movie or television show of any sort regarding this kind of stuff. It happens all the time, kid. Uh, I've never seen writing before. <laughs> I'm illiterate. <laughs> it's as if she wrote her, wrote it with life itself. Right. We often talk like like an aspiring poet, but the numbers don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> But the numbers she wrote, what do they mean, Mason? 11, oh, 37. I have no idea what that could possibly mean. So... The way she wrote wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. If she wrote them in that, in that location while she was sitting in the way we, we found her, it means she must have wrote them by turn, turning only her hand towards the wall. If only... If you were to write something in that position, do you know what, what the result would be? The result? Well, Think about it. You're not gonna tell me? Makoto. You dumb fuck. <laughs> you need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain uncon unconvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious you're not going to tell me. Dying message has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. It sounds like Kyoko knows what Sayaka's dying message means, but honestly, I have no idea. Oh, I know who I should talk to. Leon! <laughs> <laughs> I wanna go into this. Wait, is, is Leon Shadow the Hedgehog? I don't know. I guess we'll see. But when it comes to numbers, who better to ask than the ultimate programmer? Makoto. There's one there's one other thing I wanted to ask you or yeah, to ask you about. Do you know the door to your bathroom or do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh you mean how it gets stuck? What? Gets stuck. Yeah, I guess I'm the only. I'm not the only one. No, yeah, yeah, I guess I'm the only one. But the door doesn't fit fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. I it was a girl. Yeah, I had to double check. <laughs> there was some serious soul searching in those like 30 minutes before Monokuma came, came in and slapped me on the head and just opened the door. Bathroom door frame has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Correct. So the door doesn't doesn't fucking hell wrong voice. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Ah, uh, the the doorknob. That's right. You didn't notice? Well, let's just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. I didn't know what Kyoko said and shut the shut the bathroom door. Huh? The doorknob. I didn't have to stand back at the farthest possible location. The door, <laughs> so that I could see clearly. W what the heck? The doorknob's practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? It Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. See, I'm right. They broke her fucking wrist with a hammer. <laughs> I yeah. 
Even oh, though, man. even though every point points to her hand being broken by the sheet. <laughs> <laughs> it was a hammer, a golden hammer. I'm telling you. Those can be deadly. I've used the golden hammer many a time in Smash Brothers. Whatever it was, it's obvious this was intentional. What? It was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? So... I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms can, can lock, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought. Then apparently struck with a sudden realization. She shot a question at me. Just a second. I have just one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that, that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, um... Well, I did, did tell Sayaka about it last night when we, were, when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is only you and Sayaka knew about it. Mm hmm. Interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I got the sense that she was really starting to get into all this. I see. And that clears that up. Huh? What, what clears what up? I'm so lost. Goodbye. Well, see you later. And if forgetting I was ever even there, she suddenly turned, turned and left the room. Bathroom doorknob has been added to the truthful section of your handbook. Nice! I still don't really understand any of this, but I've already given my room a good once over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. I should start looking into where the mur murder weapon might have come from. And also, I should look into the DVD Sayaka got. With Sayaka dead, I can invade her privacy, no problem! Yeah! I also have no choice but to see for myself what was in that video. And on top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas we're checking out too. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks if they'll even talk to me, that is. Alright, Pink. Uh, you did say that you wanted to record for an hour. We are getting too close to that time, so how about we just check out who the fuck Noel is and then wrap it up there. Alright, sounds good. Because I could go for longer, but it, you know, I don't want to encroach or whatever. Oh, you're good. That's Byakuya? Who the fuck is Noel? Mando <laughs> cool? Yoko Kirigiri, Kyotaka. Dead woman. Dead woman. Leon! Right! Ah, oh, there! It's a Leon. Wait a fucking. Okay. I thought it was blood. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if he had blood all over his shirt all this entire time yeah. and nobody bothered to just stop and ask him about it? It's also wonderful how I completely switched the name around from Leon to Noel. <laughs> it works! Her name was Noel. I had a dream about her. She rang my bell. <laughs> What's this? The trash room. Oh! There's a hatch on the floor. Rattle, rattle. The door won't budge. It must be locked. He didn't even try. He just made, made those. He just made those noises with his mouth. With his mouth. <laughs> He's playing pretend. Yeah. There's a sturdy gate here. No way to get past. Oh shit! You're here. Why? It's the end of the, of the line. The trash room. This is where all the trash in our school eventually winds up. How do you get this gate open? No, 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 no. No one should be on this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Cleaning duty? No, 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 no. No, no, no. no one should be on this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Who's on cleaning no, duty? No, you can't go any further. This is stupid. I'd be faster to just go around and ask the others. No, no, you can't go any further. Nice. Cleaning duty has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Nice. I think I think this Monokuma bot is faulty. Perhaps. I think he just doesn't know who the janitor is. Perhaps. Alright. Noel, if that's your real name. Seems like... <laughs> Something doesn't seem right. The Monokuma thought that Sayaka was killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? What about it? Huh? This is Sayaka's room, right? But the nameplate has my name on it. Wait a second. They switched it around? <laughs> oh, this is definitely my room, but the nameplate has Sayaka's name on it. The nameplates on my room and Sayaka's room were switched? All the effort I put into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? 
Your name place, name plate has been added to the true section of your handbook. 